We're very excited to have announced a plan to reduce childcare fees by 50% starting this January 1, which is going to save parents in this province between six and $10,000 a year. This is a massive step forward to making childcare affordable. It should not have to be a choice between paying your mortgage or having a child. Uh, and it increased by 420% under the former Liberal government. We can do better and we will starting January 1, we're gonna cut fees for childcare by 50%, saving upwards of $10,000 a year. I'm excited to get this done working with our premier, with uh, our minister, Charmaine Williams and others. And as well, we're announcing a plan to build over 20,000 additional childcare spaces right across the GTHA, um, as well as providing a startup grant, essentially financial incentives to the operators to build more spaces, open them quickly, and create more access for more families as we reduce the prices for Ontarians. So uh, I'm very proud. It's a wonderful announcement ahead of Christmas, and I know it's going to go a long way for many young families who uh, want to be able to work, especially women who said to me, look, it's cheaper to stay home and watch my kid than to go to work and use childcare. And in 2022, I think that's just really an unacceptable reality for women in the economy. So this is the right thing to do. And I'm happy we can work with all levels of governments to get it done. And with that, Shannon, let's, uh, maybe we could open up for a few questions. Hello, everybody. And I'm really sorry about my voice. I have a, a really bad sore throat, but I'm still able to listen and to ask my question uh, regarding the Portuguese community, which I'm here representing. So uh, the Portuguese community is often forced to um, turn to improvised childcare centers run by other Portuguese immigrants. There are many Portuguese, uh, there are many Portuguese women that take care of other of other children whose mother whose mothers aren't able to to leave them anywhere else because they don't have money. So bearing this in mind, are there plans to open uh, child uh, childcare centers in um, in neighborhoods where where there are many Portuguese immigrants like little Portugal in Toronto? Well, we very much welcome the opportunity to expand child care. Uh, it would be my honor to partner with a child with a Portuguese community uh, child care operator and to make that a reality. Of course, the child care operator has to have that vision. And then they come to the government, ask us for the spaces. And I assure you, we are more than happy to work with all communities um, to expand child care spaces. Uh, because we're going to need more spaces, because when we reduce the fees, we're going to increase the demand. That's a good problem. Uh, so I'm committed to ensuring all communities in Ontario have access to affordable child care. And that includes in uh, Toronto's Portuguese community. Okay, thank you so much.